according to reports. Aubrey O'Day will become a mother. E. News reports that the former frontwoman for Danity Kane is expecting her first child when she was caught appearing to hold her stomach on Tuesday at the Spin Awards Gala in Los Angeles. O'Day, 38, first raised rumors that she was expecting. The singer-songwriter wore a figure-hugging white dress with ruching and rhinestone-covered PVC heels, which she matched with a matching choker. She maintained her typical makeup look, which consists of smoky eyes and a nude lip while styling her blonde hair in enormous waves. However, the showstopper hitmaker spread rumors with the location of her hands. She reportedly told reporters on the red carpet, I've been experiencing mom fever, according to The Sun. She said, I was open to dating again when I got home from Bali, which wasn't too long ago. I hadn't had sex or been intimate with anyone in nearly three years after my relationship with Pauly D. So this was the first person that I felt comfortable being vulnerable with. The Making the Band star was early on in her pregnancy and very excited, according to a source cited by The Sun. The outlet claims that O'Day's unnamed lover is the father of her unborn child. Our request for a remark was not immediately answered by the singer's representatives. She made sure to make it clear to us that the 42-year-old DJ was not the inspiration for her song Couple Goals despite what some media sites had claimed, saying, I don't like the terms inspire, and Pauly D in the same phrase. She stated that she was still too emotionally linked to everything that occurred between them, so she didn't complete the tune in studio and produce it until long after the pair was officially gone. The pop artist, who I referred to as my soulmate, also discussed her long-rumored relationship with 45-year-old Donald Trump Jr. during our conversation. After that, I absolutely stopped believing in love, which is how I was able to date Pauli. He doesn't read and doesn't own a book, after all, it's not a person I would have chosen.